In the Middle Ages, many Europeans believed there was a legendary Christian empire in Africa surrounded by infidels and heathens, which they called the Kingdom of Prester John. Amazingly, they were right. The Kingdom of Ethiopia is a Miaphysite kingdom in East Africa. Historically, it managed to stay both independent and Christian throughout the time period of the game, with contact with Europe for a large part of it. All that gives us a great deal of history to mine for the game, and now you can taste some of that flavor in the mod. The Miaphysite religion split off from Roman Christianity at the Council of Chalcedon a thousand years before the game begins. While they share some concepts with the Orthodox Church, they have their own rich traditions that show up in dozens of new events and decisions. At the beginning of the 14th century, the church was relatively weak. Over time, successive emperors made the church stronger and tied their rule more closely to it. You don't have to follow in their footsteps, but a dozen events and decisions give you the option to make your kingdom a bastion of faith if you want. I would be remiss if I didn't point out how nice the art is for these events. All the pictures are the work of a talented artist known as Saffron Mar on the forums. I was surprised and delighted when I got a PM offering to draw pictures for the mod, and I think you'll be surprised and delighted with the results. Let's take a look at some of those events. There are four or five event chains worth talking about. The first, really the first two or three, are about monks. Monks are at the center of the Miaphysite faith and its controversies. When the game begins, you'll find that there are two orders of monks in your country. As time goes on, you may witness the birth of more. Each order present in your empire gives you a stronger triggered modifier, but also leads to theological controversies. It's up to you whether to accept more orders or brand them heretics. Controversies may not always seem significant, but they represent real issues that tore apart the church historically, and a wise ruler would try to solve them by calling church councils. Just be warned that not every issue will be easy to solve, and monks can sometimes react badly to the emperor's attempts to unify the church. A peaceful compromise is not always prudent. A strong emperor might just have to exile an order instead. I hope many of you will give this religion a try at some point. However, other religions may get a small taste of the faith from other event chains. For example, a Miaphysite ruler will occasionally get the opportunity to make a personal pilgrimage to Jerusalem, stopping along the way in nearby countries. This has the potential to build stronger alliances, or start a war. Christians in Southern Europe may also receive visitors from Africa and decide whether they wish to aid their fellow Christians by sending them missionaries, merchants, or mercenaries. This can be a real gift, since each expedition means monarch points and modifiers when they arrive at their destination, or rather, if they arrive. But they also cause dissent with the meeting of different faiths, spreading European faiths in Africa and leading to disillusionment in Europe. As they did historically, the Europeans are likely to grow frustrated and stop sending aid, but that isn't guaranteed when players are involved. Perhaps, in your game, their aid will help you establish a mighty empire that will be as powerful as the fabled kingdom of Prester John. It is, after all, your tale to tell, and I hope you will tell it on the forums. Oh.